Are you backing off your husband? I think the, he'd be the best person to ask. No, you're the best person. Oh. You are you. You're not him. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's ignoring the voice because I just go, I run with it. So you stop telling him how to live, how to be, what to should, should I do, what to say, what to do, where oh. to go, and okay, what to wait, do, wait, wait, wait. what to okay. wear, and, well, you know what? The, the, and okay, what to look. eat, and how much, and See, you didn't eat all your food. And. No, okay, well, when, when um, what Joel said about like the false sense of seeing, like I will be like false sense of like not controlling by saying like, hey, you know, you don't have to go blah, 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 you know, like you, if you want to come, you can come. If you don't, you're welcome, you're not, you know what I mean, like whatever. But then I'm like, whoa, Vanessa, like, why, why do you even have to give him permission of giving him permission that's of permission? Right. You so don't that's even like, have to say that to him. So like, I'll be, I'm seeing and I'm like, but that's like, but it doesn't matter if I see it. It's like, okay, cool, I saw it, but am I, you know, shut it down. Yeah, just shut it down by not saying it or doing it. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So she's backing off a little bit? <clears throat> well, um, I guess in a certain <laughs> sense, but... So I mean, I, in another sense, it kind of things might be worse than ever, really, because I, you know, I try to come here, have an open mind, listen to everything, but the truth is, I just, I just get kind of frustrated hearing all this because it's like, um, well, it's like, what else is there to say? And then, you know, everybody could act like we're listening, we're gonna change, and then the second we step out, it's just right back to the same old thing, and. It's just, um, I don't know, it just feels like deja vu. You know, we hear, wow, an epiphany, a big, well, what a great epiphany. And then it's just right back to the thought spirals, the, just the tornado of emotion. And um, so, you know, we have been kind of pretty much fighting a lot lately. And I have been feeling angry, frustrated, stressed out. And you, you have or you have not? No, I have been feeling that way. And yeah. we have been not getting along so well. And, you have not been getting along well? Well, not really, no. And um, oh, okay. I just have been feeling like, I don't know, at what point is, at what point is it like enough reflection, you know? And I think maybe a problem we're having is that, um, I don't know, maybe I'm not participating in the the reflection, the epiphanies, the, and everything, but really my mind is just on like, well, pract I'm trying to just have practical thoughts, keep our home clean, spend a little time in nature maybe, and um, so then it's, but then I feel like I'm tuned out. So it's like I try to, I try to be a good listener, I try to participate in these discussions, but then, in my mind, it's really just kind of getting frustrated and saying like, okay, well, what else is there to say? Like, so am I tuned out or am I focusing on practical thoughts? I don't know, I guess I'm a little. So you try to participate with others about this or with your wife? Well, with my wife. And um, why do you try to participate with her in this? Well, because I, I don't, what you mean with this, with this fellowship, or just in yeah. general? This fellowship or whatever. whatever. Why are you trying to participate with her with anything that's frustrating you? <clears throat> well, I guess what I mean is that um, she'll tell me about some of the things that she's thinking about or that she's reflecting on or some of the lessons that she's learning from... Right listening to you on the radio or on YouTube or here or at Women's Forum. And, <clears throat> and I try to listen, but then it's like, I feel like I'm just like an audience member or a, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or I feel like, I, it's like, it feels like my head is open and it's just information being poured in it. So why do you try to, you don't have to listen to her. You don't have to participate if you don't want to. I know, but then that's where conflict comes in, and I... What happens when you don't want to listen to her? Well, I don't know. It's, it's, Does she get angry? I mean, we or? live in a, a studio apartment. There's, like, not really anywhere to go, so we just end <laughs> up... Um, so, like, when you, she tried to tell you what she realized, right? Yeah, exactly, but, yeah, what she's but, realized, yeah. Right, what she realized, but you don't want to hear it. 
you, well, I mean, that's what I'm struggling with. On the one hand, I want to be supportive and a good listener. Why? But on the other hand, I just, I mean, Why I feel like I'm forcing myself to, to you, be interested. You are. That's exactly what I'm talking about now. Why don't you just say, oh, that's good. I don't want to hear it. Why don't you just tell her that? Well, I, I, I do. I say that. And, what, and then what happens when you tell well, her Well, I mean, no, I don't say exactly that. Maybe I say, um, I, well, I'll just sit there and like a cardboard cutout of a person, really. And, <laughs> and, but then I start getting frustrated and I start fit, visibly looking frustrated. And then that, you know, I could only hide it so well. And, and then, then she what? catches on to that. And then it's just... And what does she do when she catches on to that? Well, I don't know. She might... It, it just, the, the energy between us just turns just really negative and hostile, and then we both end up frustrated, and then it's, well, I don't know, then we just have to leave to work, and then the whole day is on a bad note now. So you gotta get angry at each other when that happens? Well, yeah, not every day, but often enough where it's just feeling like there's a, a problem. But don't you think there's something wrong with her getting, if she's supposed to be learning all this truth, right? Uh -huh. And love and all that. Don't you think something wrong with her to get angry at you because you don't want to listen to her? Uh, well, I, if I'm understanding this whole message correctly, I think that is not in line with what you're teaching, really. Right. If she's getting angry at you because you don't want to listen to her crap, she's judging you. She's no different. And she's just learning intellectually, but she doesn't, she's not seeing. And so when you see her do that, just say, look at you. You're not, you're not even acting like what you say you learn, but don't judge her. And don't and cut out the army. Don't argue with her. Go about your day. And let her be mad by herself. You don't have to be mad with her. That's her problem. She's working on herself, and you're working on you, however you're working on you, if you work, right? That's your world, and that's her world. You don't belong in her world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think maybe being married, we've almost like a codependence or something, yes. and it's like yes. good to, you know, we, great to spend time together. We, you know, we like travel and going places, <sighs> but I don't know. I think we've lost our, like, independent thought maybe yes. or just time with ourselves I think there's personally nothing wrong with that um, I think I guess there's some Bible verse that says like oh where the husband goes the wife goes and she's brought that up but I just think I don't know if it's out of context or I mean well then if that's in the Bible well then I just disagree with that part and I think it's okay for people to, to spend time alone or just it is um, I don't know if I just say, hey, you know what, I, I want to go on a hike, on an eight-hour hike or something, then, well, then we'll spend some time apart today. She'd so get mad if you went on an eight-hour hike? Well, probably, yeah, or she would say it's crazy, or... Uh, um, she uh, would say, oh, you want to go on an eight-hour hike? That's crazy. Well, or that it's her, dangerous, or that it's... Um, Why don't you tell her that's not your business? Well, I, I just, I want to be polite, and... <laughs> And but by being of... polite, you, you start a fight. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, maybe that's what's going on. I'm just too more worried about being polite than my own like health or something. But yeah, that is. Stop fighting with the devil. Mm -hmm. You don't owe her explanation to go hiking. You really don't have to tell and her. And then you know that's just an example of right, I understand. something. Like but you don't have to tell her. But you want to tell her just in case you get attacked by a bear or something. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, and then it's like and you know she. And they want to know the last thing you went, so we can send the FBI over there. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and be safe. But you, you know, reasonable over, safe. You don't need to tell her how long you're gonna be gone, uh -huh. where you're going, and blah blah blah. And if you get mad, just say, okay, see you, woman of love. Because she's showing you hate and not love. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I mean? then a lot of the times I just, it's like, I'm like, you're the one listening to this all day. I just kind of bits and pieces, and I'm like, wait, but isn't that, isn't, doesn't that go against this, 
this thing that you're spending almost all day, practically every day listening to, and I'm just, you know, I'm like, I'm the one that barely even, like, wants to even listen to all this. Stuff. I'll blame you. Because <laughs> the devil is acting out. Mm -hmm. Do you realize you're not setting that example that you're talking about? I said, right here, you give it to her, yeah. Yes, and that's what I tell him, too. And then that's why I'm like, oh, stop telling him. Because then I'll, I, even, I even told him, you know what? Even if I, you say something that I don't like, you, that's tough on me, you know? Tough titties to the kitty, but the milk's still good, you know? And, but what? he's too afraid. I'm like, don't be afraid of me. I'm like, I can't do, I cannot cause you that much bodily harm that you're afraid to even tell me but yes or up or down. Stop correcting him, period. Yeah. And that's the false sense of seeing. That's in the assignment this week. Why don't you yeah. just be quiet and quietly work on you and don't even tell him. Mm -hmm. He'll see it. If it's real, he'll see it. And, and don't be trying to correct him. Don't do anything. Just stay quiet. Did hate call you the crazy lady or something? <laughs> yes. That's, yeah. He did? He, yeah, the real deal. <laughs> yeah, that's a it's spiritual splunking. On the show? <laughs> yeah. No, here, fellowship, and on the show, on the, those little, uh, what is it, the timestamps? But that's what I get for going looking. You know, and then I, I got called out. I was like, okay, well, that's what I want the truth, so. So he called you and say in the, in the, oh, the crazy, Okay, the crazy lady, uh, <laughs> listen to the devil. I even came home and I was like, oh. I'm like, Jesse stared at me. And I was confused, and I thought I was on the money, thinking like, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. And then I went home, and I was like, let me just look. And then I looked at the timestamps, and then it said, like, <laughs> oh, crazy lady listening to the devil. And I was like, oh, I was not on the money. Like, he was looking at me, because he was like, I'm not going to pay attention to crazy. Pay no mind to crazy, you know? And I was like, oh, that's what I need to do, pay no mind to myself, because I'm right. crazy, you know? Cause, yeah. And that's just like, okay, me calling myself crazy, be like, yeah, I'm crazy, I'm crazy, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. I'm like, stop it. Yeah. That's why you even sound crazy. Absolutely. And that's just like, nobody wants to hear stuff. So I'm like, So I here's saw. what I recommend. Back off your husband. You just work on you and your world, and he will see if a ch real change happens, it's going to naturally show up. And he will see it. And don't tell him anything. All right? Don't impose your whatever you're learning or not learning on him. <laughs> Let him be in his own, whatever that world is. Mm -hmm. Wish him well, believe him in his world, and don't you try to correct his world with your world. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to stop riding him. He's not a horse. You want, yeah, leave him yeah. alone. Uh -huh. Look. I don't want to ride anybody because that's all I'm like, this, this assignment, I'm just like, I, I ride the situation, I ride people, I ride myself like a jockey, you know? <laughs> all you need to do is be quiet and watch what's happened up here, all right? And the God will change it. Don't worry, stay working on it. Don't stop working on it. So as of today, back off your husband. If you want to go for an eight-hour hike, don't be like, oh, that's too long. What are you going to do? That's so crazy. <laughs> Why eight hour? Let him go to eight, 24 hours if he want. Bye. Even if he decide not to come back from that hike. Bye. <laughs> Just say, oh, he went on a hike. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But don't, don't have any ideas about his hiking, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Totally. That's his world. Let him live his world. Awesome. Right? Totally. And stop... Stop, letting her, stop arguing with her. And if you don't want to hear it, just say, hey, I don't want to hear it. You have a right to not want to hear it. God is not getting mad at you because you don't want to hear it. And she doesn't have a right to force it on you or get angry or anything. So you stop. You're responsible for the argument. You don't have to argue with the devil. Does he beat you up and make you argue? No. I'm sorry? No. So why do you argue with her? Why are there with it's just two devils arguing? Mm -hmm. They both think they're right. So stop the argument. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yes, uh, James. Hake, yeah. 
Um, when I get excited about uh, sharing some truth that I found, mm -hmm. it doesn't work. Like, I lose it right away. Absolutely. It's like casting your pearls before a swine, but you're worse swine than the person. Absolutely. And they don't get it either. Isn't it amazing? Did you put that in the timestamp, too? <laughs> I can if you want. <laughs> amazing. A good point about that, I want you to notice every time you get excited about sharing the truth, listen to that. Pay attention to see that Satan is telling you this. Satan is in your head telling you, oh, you got the truth, you know the truth. Oh, I can't wait to tell somebody. I know the answer to that. I can't wait. You, all you're doing is listen to the voice of evil. Knowledge. And you think it's your voice, and you think it's from God, and you think, you know. If you pay attention to that, you stop being so excited about sharing the truth and throwing it on people that don't want to hear it. And then you get mad at them for not wanting to hear it. Your ego is angry because nobody wants to hear the truth from me. I'm the God of, I'm the daughter or son of God. You don't want to hear the truth. You mad at them because they want to hear from you and you're worshiping the devil. That's where the excitement is coming from. It's all intellectual. And Satan is the author of the intellect. That's why you know good and evil because you're of your father the devil. You should only know good. And you know good by becoming good, and when you, your old nature change, you will become good. Then you can do good. You can't be of evil and do good. And then you tell yourself, oh, I do good because I feed the hunger. I gave some money to that poor homeless bomb on the street. I preached the truth to someone. I spoke in tongues. I heal the sick. I am good. That don't make you good. That makes your ego grow. That makes you evil. What a mess, huh? Back off of him. Leave him alone. If he doesn't want to come here, he doesn't have to come. He knows he's welcome here anytime. If he doesn't want to come and you come and you have your little woman's meeting and and they're all good. They really are amazing meeting, right? And now you, you go home. Oh, I can't wait to get to the house. <laughs> <laughs> and if he sleep, I'm going to wake him up. <laughs> and I'm going to tell him, oh, the truth I just learned. Mm -hmm. Sitting like, that's right, hurry up. <laughs> Don't tell him anything. If he want to know, he'll ask. All right? Okay. <laughs>